morning mamas today is my day two of vlogging and answering questions um i think i know which question i'm going to answer today i think i'm going to talk about how we do our schedule i'm just out here in the studio um in the mornings i try to come and vacuum the floors today i put on some oils i put them over in this corner here we still have our work boxes out from yesterday that we are going to continue to work on and today i just thought i would talk to you about how we are doing our schedule um <laughs> the boys played a game of chess this morning and kendall is currently um speaking some spanish i went ahead and vacuumed the floor in here and i'm gonna put our little blanket down again because it's just softer for us to be on the floor with and right now i still need to get some chairs to go around their little table so I, I'm trying to work with what I have here. Brian seems to think I need to get some big tables to come out here, but I already have two big tables that are in the classroom. So I don't want to get two extra tables for out here. So I do want to keep using these little tables. Um, yeah, I want to continue to use the little tables. So I thought I could get stools. Um, Kendall and Savannah are still small enough to just sit at stools around this little table here and then Cameron will just sit over at this desk with mommy <laughs> so he'll have a big chair here it is in my little creative space but that's okay maybe once I get some type of shelving system over in this area I can get these items off of this table and that'll give him more space to be here so I'm just gonna talk through how we are doing our schedule um, right before we get started for school I do have a few clips to share with school yesterday uh, we had a really good time yesterday I'll just insert a little bit of what we did yesterday I'm gonna draw this plank like gray-ish and then I'm gonna add some white to the side to make it look like the sun, the uh, sunset is shining on the, to make okay. it look like it's shining in the moonlight. Cool! So, we, they want me to go ahead and keep reading. We did chapter three, now we're gonna move on to chapter four because they want me to keep reading. And we just talked about um, how Neil didn't get to finish school at Purdue because why not Cam because he had to go to the what, Korean War. he went to the Korean War right so because of that I wanted to show them where Korea was so we opened up our maps book to they found the continent of Asia who Cameron actually guessed it correctly um, he knew that Korea was in Asia so we opened up to Asia and then he was able to find Korea. So he is currently working on his rocket ship. He is doing Neil Armstrong in space. And Kendall is working on his plane. He is doing Neil Armstrong the pilot. Right, Bear? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna keep reading. Um, chapter 4, Test Pilot. Neil had been younger than nearly all of the other students when he first enrolled at Purdue. But he'd been away for three years. Why was he away for three years, Kendall? Because he, because he was in the Korean War. Excellent job. Neil's hope was to become an ex- There's Neil and Jan. <laughs> Here you go. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Neil Armstrong's first flight. Ken's picture, Neil's awesome. Let's go over here to camera. So that's Kendall's finished work and he's going to use his iPad to take a picture of his work so he can keep in his portfolio. Nice job, let me see. Nice, buddy. That's awesome. 
We are continuing on with Neil Armstrong in this Who Is book. They liked it so much, like I said in the clip earlier, they liked it so much that um, we were scheduled just to do one chapter and we ended up doing like three or four chapters. So we still also have to do read aloud. We're still working on the Phantom Tobles here. What else do I wanna say? Yeah, so they've been doing some Spanish practice this morning and they just came over here on their own to this little section that I set up with the easel um, to the Hello Atlas book. English. Rachel. <laughs> and Rachel speaks what? English. English. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay this blanket out so that we can get our stuff out and get back started. And then I will talk to you a little bit about how we are doing. I'll talk to you a little bit about how we are doing our schedule. Okay, so the hard part about being in your garage is that someone is always cutting their grass when you're trying to film. <laughs> but oh well. So this is kind of a good example of how we end up using resources and they're not like scheduled times. To use them I think I mentioned that in my um, curriculum video that there's not always like a specific scheduled time but I try to I, I guess it would be still considered strewing um, just strew the items around the room so that if they're interested in something they just go and grab it I'm cutting it. what are you doing she the right way. yeah she's doing well I don't know if I actually shared their finished product from yesterday, but let me show you. So today we're gonna to do some writing to go along with their artwork from yesterday. Right now they're just kind of like free play drawing while I get my life together. So um, I think Cameron is trying to pick out colors to work on a Saturn. And then Kendall here, he's working on the rocket. <clears throat> Scissors are right here. They took out some of our space math. I, I forgot. I'm gonna have to go back and look and see where I got these. But I basically just, they're listed on my Pinterest board and I thought they were really cute. So it's just a fun little math game um, to go along with our theme. So it's just a bunch of subtraction. And then the answers are here, here. So they've done these a couple of times since we started our unit so yeah so they have those all sprawled out over here but in the meantime they're work boxes so I need to redo their labels because I didn't laminate them or anything and the tape is coming off so I'm going to redo those hopefully today but anyway this is Cameron's work box and inside of his work box today is just um, his notebook his history notebook the new composition book and his science composition book. And then right now we just have this little wiggly guy some, for some science exploration. So that's all that's in here right at the moment. But this is his work from yesterday, his artwork from yesterday. And now we're going to create a story to go along with it. And that'll be part of our writing along with history. <laughs> so after he finishes these, and I'll show you them when they're um, completed, but after he finishes these, we just started with history. So this is a fresh notebook. And this will end up going in here and then along with his writing that will go on the page behind. So I'll probably, we'll probably just paste it in here. The reason why I like to have um, separate notebooks for the subjects is because in my mind, there would be a great thing for them to have to go back and like as a study book on things that they learned that all had to do with that particular subject. So he'll have a book full of history stuff that he um, learned that he can go back and um, reference whenever he's trying to find a piece of information. Mean? Oh, thank you, you made me a phone. Hello? It's me. <laughs> Thank you. Where does the hand go? The hand. Five. That's times a glove, and he goes right here. This is what Savannah is completing right now because we're learning about outer space and astronauts. And she is putting these stickers onto the spaces, and we're talking about them. 
how cute is this? So now that she's done, she can go ahead and draw her face in there. That's a cute face, Savannah. <laughs> Very cute. You're gonna be the cutest little astronaut ever. Thank you, Mommy. So we went ahead and read, we read Welcome to Space today. And we talked about these. These are a lot of the words that are inside of their um, vocabulary for this week. And I'll show you inside of his work box. It, this is his space vocabulary words that he's working on. Basically, these have a lot of the words. I started by writing the words on this side here, and then each column represents a day, so we are on Wednesday today. So, yeah, and a lot of them come from here. One thing that I noticed yes. too is that there is a lot of color in our homeschool and I like it that way. I think when I first started, um, I saw a lot of the um, Instagram accounts, um, you know, that you would look to for inspiration. Uh, they use a lot more uh, natural tones, muted tones, because they're outside by the streams and things like that. And that's all beautiful and it's wonderful. And then you start to feel like yours needs to be the same too. But what I learned about myself is that I I love color and other people may think it's obnoxious and a little bit much but when else can you be this colorful than when you are a kid so we've got color everywhere 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 <laughs> there's always color on the world yeah the world. there there's is color. color all over the world the color little, all over the world i got this all for you to okay can you do it colors are shapes and sizes right <laughs> If so that's what we're doing currently and I'm gonna still talk to you about our schedule so let's chat about that um, so I'm just gonna close these up because this is the way we are attempting the schedule um, this year so we have two sections of our day and listed up on our board is our daily routine here um, and it's split into two sections the first section is Bible language arts reading writing and math um, the second section of our day consists of history, science, geography, language, art, and music. How it works is we do half of our work inside the classroom and the other half of our work in the studio out in this area. And I think that is going to work really well for us this summer. Um, I haven't completely decided on... I don't know, I'm still, the jury is still out for exactly how it's going to go. I'm not sure if I'm going to try and adapt an alternate schedule in our days or try to um, work on every subject every day. And the reason for that is because uh, right now we kind of do an alternate schedule or a block type of schedule. So we'll do um, language arts, Bible, reading, writing, math on one day and then the next day we'll do history science geography language art and music and the reason for that is because they get so excited about what we're working on that you know we'll spend like I don't know like 20 30 minutes um, even 45 minutes sometimes on each subject and then by the time you make it through those um, it's just it's just too much for the day and you just need to be done. So then we end up doing the other subjects on the next day. And that's how it's been naturally working out for us. But I really want to change that. I um, would really rather um, work in small time increments and get in every subject each day. And I just, I feel like in life it's really important to try, well, at least for me, it's one of the things in life that I'm learning is that it's really important to just work on things a little bit every day. Um, and so that's the reason why I want to try to get all of the subjects in, in one day. So if we um, work on, say, history for 15, 20 minutes and then stop what we're doing and then we continue it the next day for 15, 20 minutes, um, I feel like that might be a better fit 
for us, even though it's going to be kind of a challenge for me to actually accomplish. There's something to putting your hands to something a little bit every day, as opposed to trying to find big chunks of time to work on something. And that's actually how I am. I'm a big chunk of time person. Um, I get into a project and I need a big chunk of time to complete it because I, I obsess over that project and I have to get it done right now and then I finish it and I I found that it's 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 not a good thing for me <laughs> so um, I'm now later on in life really trying to discipline myself to just work on something a little bit every day so why not have them learn to do it now oh you made this for my birthday oh thank you so much it's a chocolate birthday cake thank you You're welcome. <laughs> So yeah, that's why I really want to try and do that. I want to try and discipline ourselves to work on each subject a little bit every day. So I actually think it's going to work out well because if I had um, stopped at the 15, 20 minute mark for our history lesson yesterday, they would have been so into it that they would have been really ready to get started with it the next day. So I'm, I'm really hoping <laughs> I'm really hoping that it will work out that way and I'm just going to continue to give it a try. If for some reason it's really horrible and it's really not working out for us, we'll just go back to doing the alternate block schedule type of deal. But right now we just have um, two sections of our day. The um, first one is basically like the reading, writing, um, arithmetic type of deal plus some Bible. And uh, the second section is our history, science, language, art music i'm thinking that it'll probably work out on a daily basis to be better off to do the history and science and all the more fun things in the morning while we're outside with the fresh air and then we'll go play and then we come back inside into the classroom and do our things that require a little bit more focus so we'll see how it goes i'll keep you updated but we had a really good schedule last year but every year it changes because they're getting older and they're able to do different things so um, as they get older i have to change and adjust um, to fit us best for the time that we're in right now. Basically, that is how we are doing schedule. Um, and then we have read aloud time. I didn't really address that. But basically for read aloud time, I was trying to do it first thing in the morning, uh, during uh, first thing in the morning when we started um, school. But that didn't, I don't think that was working out so well. So I'm gonna try one of two things. I'm either gonna do read alouds during breakfast or I'm gonna do read alouds um, before bedtime. So we'll see how that goes and of course I'll keep you posted again. So hopefully you like this little miniature vlog style video answering questions. Um, I do have a list of questions that I have accumulated that I'm gonna be trying to answer each day. But um, if you guys have any additional questions that you want me to answer, um, in each of these vlogs that would be really helpful too I can just add that to my list and I make sure I always have something um, to talk about that is addressing your questions and comments so yeah I gotta go because he's still cutting the grass and <laughs> if you like this video please give it a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed if you want to continue to see um, when we are posting videos and I'm enjoying these little pop-ins so far it's only day two but I'm enjoying these little pop-in uh, vlog videos and hopefully you are too and I will see you in our next video oh that's really nice look at what he's doing he's taking a picture of his work now for his portfolio nice Right here, I just drew this rocket, and the plane was yesterday, and... <laughs> Guys, I think he's vlogging. I love that, and that was what I wanted. I wanted to be able to include in their homeschool portfolio. Um, I wanted them to take more ownership over what they were learning and be excited about it. And so, if, you know, if this helps, then great, right? I love it. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!